I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, can you say that again? I wasn't listening. Yes, listening. Hey, good Sam. This is Pastor Jed. And on Sunday, we were talking about listening. We're in a series called Growing Relationship God's Way. And when, this week, we talked about the importance of listening. James, he's writing to the church and he says, Sisters and brothers, I want everyone to be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. I have a friend that says, it ain't for no reason that God gave us two ears and one mouth. And I guess that means that we should listen twice as much as we speak. But on Sunday, we were reminded that listening is hard work. It's hard work because we live in a me-centered world and we are very self-centered. We like to think about our lives. We like to talk about our lives. We like to share our experiences. And when you listen to someone, you're focused on what they're thinking, what they're experiencing. You're focusing on their world. It's hard for us to listen because we live in a hurried world. We're busily rushing from one thing to the next. And if you're rushing, if you're pushing, if you're in a hurry, it's hard to listen to other people share their story, to share their situation, to share the things that are heavy on their heart. It's hard to listen. Listening is hard work. When you listen to someone deeply, when you listen to someone well, it means being patient. It means taking time. It means engaging in the words that they are sharing. It's hard. But the good news is that Jesus is a great example for what it means to listen deeply and to listen well. On Sunday, we looked at the way that Jesus demonstrates how we should listen. Jesus is at the height of his ministry. The crowds are following him. Everyone wants a piece of Jesus. They want to ask Jesus questions. They want Jesus to see them, to touch them, to, to be with him. And as he is moving into Jerusalem, there is a crowd that is forming. They're calling out. You can feel the excitement. You can hear the noise. And in the midst of this crowd is a blind man. Now, no one has seen this blind man or noticed this blind man. They're not giving him any time or space. And as he hears Jesus coming, he cries out because he wants Jesus to stop for him. Everyone else has passed him by, but perhaps Jesus will see him and hear him and listen to his need. As the crowd tries to quiet this man down, Jesus does something remarkable. He stops and he goes to the man and he asks the man the question, what do you want me to do for you? I love the fact that Jesus doesn't make assumptions about what the man needs. He honors this man. He honors his story. He honors his pain. He listens to the need that he has. And when the man says, I want to see, Jesus heals him. The man rejoices and the people around, they recognize that Jesus' listening has created a miracle. And so they rejoice. They praise God. On Sunday, I challenged each one of us to go into a listening mode, to go on to a listening tour, just slowing ourselves down, calming ourselves down, and listening to God's still, small voice. I believe that if we can't hear God's voice and if we aren't listening to God, then it's going to be very difficult for us to listen to each other. And so I'm wondering how you're doing at listening to God as he is speaking to you. The second thing that I asked you to do is to think of the one person that you need to step into their lives and you need to listen to them the way that Jesus modeled listening. Do you know who that person is? Have you created time and space just to be with them and to listen to them? The last thing I wanted to remind us of is this, that there's a profound connection with loving someone and listening to someone. I don't know anyone who ever says, I am so loved by this other person. They never listen to me. They never enter my situation. They don't hear a word I say, but I know that they love me. Now there's a connection. And so if we're going to love people well, we need to learn to listen to people well. We need to be like Jesus in this. On Wednesday, we're going to gather again for Wednesday Night Live. If you haven't had the opportunity of jumping in, I just want to invite you, come, see, listen. We're going to be listening to each other and we're going to be listening to God as we continue to deepen our relationships. I'll see you on Wednesday or I'll see you Sunday. Blessings.